Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is P. Jansi Devi working as an assistant professor in CSC department in our BVRIT college. Today I am going to explain about the topics which statements uh, in the subject computational thinking and programming. Uh, in the previous session, we have discussed about different kind of control statements that are nothing but simple if statements, if else, nested if else and else if ladder. So, in this uh, current session, we will be going to discuss two different kind of uh, it, control statements. Those are nothing but switch statements and ternary statements. So, these are the basic different kind of control statements that we are going to use here in C programming. The first one is nothing but the decision making statements as we have discussed now. The decision making statements are nothing but the if statement, if else statements, nested if else, else if ladder, switch and ternary operator. Previously, we have discussed about these above four statements and in this particular uh, session, we will be discussing about the switch statements and ternary operators. Okay, so apart from this particular statements, we will be having two different kind of uh, statements. Those are nothing but the iterative statements and break and continue statements. Iterative statements are nothing but if I want to execute the single statement multiple times, then I'll be coming for the iterative statements. Here in C programming, we'll be using three different kind of iterative statements. Those are nothing but while loop, do while and for loop. These are the three different kind of iterative statements we are going to use. But in this current session, we will be discussing about switch statements and ternary operators. Switch statements are multi decision making statements. That means in previously we have seen that in if and if else, nested if else and else if ladder, if the condition is satisfied, then only we are executing one particular statements. Here also we will be following the same condition, but we will be specifying our switch statements as a multi decision making statements. And this particular switch statement is set, said to be as an built-in multi-decision making statements. The, what this particular switch statement will be doing means first it will be testing the value of the given variable or the expression that you have given in the uh, list and after that one it will be checking if that particular value is satisfied or if that particular match is found then that particular block of statements will associated to that block will be executed. This is the scenario that we will be following here in the switch statements. That means every time whenever we are writing the switch statements, our stitch switch statement should start with the switch keyword, then followed with the opening and closing parenthesis. That means first I will be writing switch, then followed with opening and closing parenthesis. In between this particular parenthesis, I will be specifying either the expression or the value or the operator that associated to that one. And after that, the switch should start with the opening flower braces. Then we will be specifying different kind of cases. And finally, it will be terminated with closing flower braces. And each and every case will be starting with the case label followed with the colon okay so this is the scenario that we will be using and in this case label i'll be using multiple statements and each and every statement should be terminated with semicolon and we have to use break so whatever the expression i'm specifying here it should uh, satisfy with the label if that particular label is satisfied then only the statements associated in that particular label will be executed so that's what we are specifying that the switch tests the value of the given variable or the expression again as the list of case values. That means whatever the cases we are specifying, that particular case values will be checked here. If that particular case is satisfied, that means when a match is found, then that particular block of statements associated to that particular case will be executed. So we are specifying that a block of statements associated with that uh, case will be executed. This is the basic scenario that we will be following for switch statements. Then the switch statement is an alternative of if else statements or we will be specifying that one as it is an alternative of else if ladder. That means it can be executed the conditional code based on the value specified to that particular variable. 
Okay, so that's what we will be specifying. This switch statement is an alternative of else if ladder or if else if ladder. Basically, we will be using else if ladder in C. So this is a switch statement is an alternative of else if ladder. So in order to write our programs in C by making use of switch statements, what are the different kind of rules that you have to follow? We will be seeing now. So, these are the different kind of rules that you have to follow. What are the first thing means? The first thing is every time your switch should start with the switch keyword. So, that's what in the switch statement, the case value must be either the character or integer. That means I will be using only two types. That two types are nothing but char and int. That means I will be using integer values that means case 1, case 2, case 3 like that I'll be using or if I want to specify any character then that means if I want to specify any oper uh, operator addition, subtraction, multiplication like that or uh, any characters either the lowercase alphabets from A to Z or uppercase alphabets from uh, A to Z I can use. As you all know that every time uh, the character should be enclosed in single quotations. That means the case value should be either the lowercase or uppercase but it should be enclosed in the single quotes. As I have specified it is of type int. As you all know that we will be making use of all integers. Okay, one, two, n okay next the val uh, value 1 value 2 are nothing but the constants these are nothing but the constants that means here i'll be writing switch then i'll be specifying my particular expression then start okay opening flower braces then we will be specifying the case all these things should be written in the lowercase letters only okay and then the case will be followed with the values that means i can take that one as value 1 value 2 value 3 so on to value n then followed with the colon so this value 1 value 2 can also be specified as an a label in some cases we will be writing that one as case label 1 case label 2 case label 3 like that we will be specifying Anything that you can use, either the case value 1, case value 2 I can use or I can also use that one as case label 1, case label 2 like that. Okay, then this particular case should be terminated with the colon that you have to keep in mind. Okay, so value 1, value 2 are the constants and are also known as the case labels. Next, the value in the case must be unique. That means I should not... Uh, have the redundancy of data. I should give that value 1, value 2, value 3 like that. I should not give two cases with the same value. Okay. Then we will be getting an error. So that's what we will be specifying. The value in the case must be unique. Then as I told that every time the case value or case label should be terminated with the colon okay it is not terminated with the semicolon but it will be terminated with the colon okay so case lab labels ends with the colon okay once my particular case is completed then i'll be moving to the second case but in that case i can use multiple statements so each and every statement should be terminated with semicolon okay so they, that's what the next rule we are specifying that there can be one or n number of cases. That means case value 1, 2, I can use case value n. Okay, then finally terminate that one with the closing flower basis. Okay, and each and every statement of the case can have the break statement. This is important. Okay, and the, it is optional. It is not mandatory that we have to use the break statement. Once I'm completing the first uh, case value, then at the final, I'll be using here break statement. This break statement will be terminated with the colon. Once I use the break statement, if that particular value is satisfied, it will be executing the block of statements associated to this particular case value. Then it terminates that one and it comes out of the case. That means it does not go to the next case. Okay. If I'm not using this particular break, okay, then what happens? If that particular case value is satisfied, it will be printing that one. Then it moves to the case value 2. Then the statements associated to case value 2 also will be executed. Then it comes to the case value uh, 3. 
if the break statement is not used if break statement is used it terminates there it comes out of the switch statement if i am not using break statement there then it continues to execute both case 1 and case 2 okay that is the thing that you have to keep in mind so that's what we will be specifying that uh, break is an optional here for each and every individual case okay and at the final when all the cases were not satisfied okay at the end i will be making use of default okay so this default statement is also optional so when none of the cases were satisfied then the control will comes to the default case and the statements associated to default case will be executed okay so this is the scenario that we will be following for writing the program based on uh, writing the program by making use of switch statement and these are the seven different kind of rules that you have to follow for writing the switch statements program okay what is the first one you have to use the switch keyword to write the switch statement then each and every switch will be consisting of the case values and this particular case value should be either character or integer and each and every value should be the constant and there should not be uh, redundancy of data and this uh, case value 1 and case value 2 will be specified as an a case label and each and every value should be unique and every time the case should be terminated with the colon and there should be one or n number of cases and each statement in the case can be use the break statement and it is optional and finally we we can also use the default statement okay these are the seven different kind of rules that you have to follow if you want to write any uh, program by making use of switch statements so as i told that break is an optional okay the keyword break is used to stop the execution inside a switch block okay so once i use the break i'll be coming out of that particular switch case and i'll be executing the statements that are below the switch statements okay so this particular break statement is used to help the uh, help us to terminate the switch block okay or it breaks out of it okay when we reach the break it the switch will be terminated the control will jumps to the next line followed with the switch okay so that's what we'll be specifying that uh, break statement is an optional okay if you omit break then what it will be doing it will continues okay the execution till to the all the next cases how many cases i have specified all those particular cases will be executed the flow of control will falls through the subsequent cases until the break is reached so this is the basic uh, syntax that i'll be using for writing the c program by making use of switch as i have specified uh, previously okay every time our switch statement will start with the switch keyword followed with opening and closing parenthesis in this opening and closing parenthesis i'll be specifying the expression okay this expression can be of type either char or int okay so then it starts with the opening flower braces and ends with the closing flower braces between this i'll be using multiple cases okay case value 1 case value 2 so on to case value n okay so this value 1 value 2 so on will be specified as an a case label and each and every label will be termi uh, terminated with the colon then after that one i will be specifying multiple uh, statements okay i can use statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 so on to statement n and finally i'll be using the break statement okay and every statement that is enclosed in one case should be terminated with the semicolon that you have to keep in mind case label should be terminated with colon and every statement in that particular case has to be terminated with semicolon okay how many cases i want to use i can use that many multiple cases if none of the cases were satisfied then the control directly comes to this particular default statement and whatever the default statement i have written that particular default statement will be executed okay for example if i have 
uh, when the uh, when if i am uh, written any program okay then uh, it satisfies the first case then this particular case will be executed then the control moves from here and it directly execute the statement x if first case itself is not satisfied then the control moves to the second case it checks that one if it is satisfied it execute this particular case to and the control will directly comes to the statement x like that how many cases were there it will be checking all those multiple cases if none of the cases were satisfied then it skips all these things and whatever the statement i have written in default that one will be executed okay then again the control will comes to the statement x okay that is the thing that you have to keep in mind and as you all know that the note i have written here that is nothing but this particular expression should be either integer or character okay so it cannot evaluate any different data types this is the point that key point that you have to keep in mind when you are writing the program by making use of switch so this is the basic flow chart that we will be following for writing the switch statements okay so switch expression i can use or conditional statement then the control moves to the case one if case one is satisfied okay then the control directly moves to the uh, statements that i have used in the case one that particular statements will be executed and i'll be using break if it is satisfied the control will directly comes from here to the statements that are followed with the switch if it is not satisfied if it is false then the control moves to the case 2 if case 2 is satisfied it executes this one and directly comes here okay like that it will be checking all the cases if none of the cases not satisfied then the control directly comes to the default case and this particular default statement will be executed and then the control comes to the statements that are followed with the switch okay so this is the basic uh, flow chart that we will be using for switch statements okay then we will be discussing about what are the different kind of merits and demerits of switch statements okay so first thing the merits of switch statements that are nothing but the advantages of switch statements it is easier to read than if else if else uh, if else if ladder and it is easier to debug and maintain the large number of conditions and one more thing it is uh, faster execution speed okay so these are the three different kind of uh, advantages of switch statement coming to the drawbacks uh, switch can only evaluate of only two types that are nothing but integer type and character type apart from that one i can't execute so that is the one of the drawback here that means uh, we have to use the expression of type either int or char no support of logical expression this is also one of the drawback and you have to keep in mind that we need to add a, a break in every case then only it will be helpful for us to execute if not all the cases will be executed so mandatory you have to use the break statement over there in switch so these are the merits and demerits of switch statements so this is the basic example of program that we will be discussing here for printing the case values of one particular switch okay so as you all know that first we will be including the header files by making use of hash include std io.h okay std io.h is nothing but standard input output uh, functions will be included here in our header file .h is the extension of header file then from our main function the program execution begins so we are giving here uh, our main function as an int type that means whenever i am using here the type as int mandatory that you have to use the return zero statement at the end okay then i am uh, declaring one particular variable okay of type int and i have assigned one value to for the variable uh, var okay then i am checking that one as you all know that this particular expression should be of type either int or char so i have used here int okay what is the value 2 that means switch 2 that means the compiler will directly comes to the second case okay from second case it will be executing it will be printing that print case 2 is executed so how many cases i have used here four different kind of cases as i'm taking here case 1 i am printing that one case 1 is executed but what is the criteria we have to follow here we need to make use of the break statement 
Okay. Once I have used the break statement, it terminates that particular case and directly comes to the return 0. Okay. Next, here I have specified var equal to 2. So, it will be coming to the case, value, uh, case, uh, case label 2 and it will be uh, executing this particular statement that is nothing but case 2 is executed. Okay. So, here I have not used any break statements. Okay. So, in my program, I have not used any break statement. So, that's what, what it is doing. It is printing all the statements. Case 2 is executed, case 3 executed, case 4 executed on my output screen. If I am using this particular break statement, then what happened? The compiler will be executing only this particular case 2 and I will be getting my particular output as case 2 is executed. Okay. So, Previously, we have seen that break is an optional. So, when I am using a break statement, then I am executing or I, then I will be getting only my particular output that case 2 is executed. If I am not using any break statement, okay, in this program, I have not used any break statement. So, I will be getting my particular output as case 2 is executed, case 3 is executed and case 4 is executed. Okay. So, this is the basic thing that you have to keep in mind. If I am using break, it executes only that particular case and it will be printing only that particular result as an output. If I am not using break statement, all the statements will be executed and it, that particular value will be printed. Instead of 2, if I have used here 1, then what happened? All the 4 cases. Here I will be getting my output as case value is executed. Like this I will be getting. Okay, so this is one of the basic example program where I am not using any break statement in my particular switch program. Okay, so next we will be discussing about how to create a simple calculator program by making use of switch statements. Okay, so as you all know that by making use of calculator we will be performing different kind of calculations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo division like that we will be doing. Okay. So, we will be trying to write that particular program here. Okay. So, we are including the header file by making use of hash include stdiver.h. Okay. Then we are uh, declaring our main function. Okay. Int main. Then our main starts with the opening flower braces and ends with the closing flower braces. In between that one, I have to write my particular code. Okay. So, here as you all know that our switch expression should be of type either int or char. So, I have uh, writing a program for performing calculations. So, that's what I am performing only the arithmetic uh, operations that are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So, I need to specify what kind of operation I want to perform. So, in, here I have declared one particular uh, variable known as choice of type char. So, the same operate uh, oper uh, operand I am using here in the switch. Instead of choice, I can also use that one as expression. Then that particular expression will be executed. Okay. So, I need to uh, do uh, I need to perform arithmetic operations. So, that's what I will be performing that particular operations by making use of two different operands x and y. So, I am using here int x comma y. Okay. So, I need to read that particular operand values x and y. So, that's what I will be using printf statement enter two numbers and I will be reading that particular two numbers by making use of scanf and it is of type what int. So, that's what we will be using the format specifiers percentile d percentile d. The first percentile d is used for reading the value of x and second percentile d is used for reading the value of y. Okay. Whatever the value we are reading that value will be uh, print uh, will be printed on your output screen. So, when the compiler executes this program, I will be getting my particular output as here first enter the two numbers. So, for example, if I am reading that particular values as some 20, 10, okay, 20 will be stored in x and 10 will be stored in y, 
okay then i need to specify what kind of operation i need to perform so i am using that printf enter the operator what is what are the operators addition subtraction multiplication and division that operator will be stored in the variable choice okay why means i have used the variable choice here so reading that one by making use of the scanf okay and for choice, I have used the uh, data type known as character. So for character, I'll be making use of the format specifier known as percentile C. So that's what I'm reading that one by making use of percentile C and storing that particular operator in choice variable. Okay, for example, if I've read that, read that particular operator, okay, enter the operator, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, okay. For example, if I'm doing plus, okay, so I'll be performing here. Percentile D will be holding the value of X and this percentile D will be holding the value of Y and the result will be X plus Y. Y means here I have not taken any operator. So it directly performs that operation 20 plus 10 equal to 30. Okay, that 30 will be printed over there. Then I have used break. So once it is satisfied, it uh, once it reaches to the break, the control will directly comes out of the switch and it goes to the return statement and it stops the execution. Okay. If instead of plus, okay, if I have used division, then what happened? It checks. Okay. For the case label division, then it comes here and it will be executing this particular statement. Okay, what I'll be getting the result 20 slash 10 equal to 2. I'll be getting that particular result as 2. If none of the operators I have given, then it comes to the default case and it will be specifying invalid operator. Okay, this is the way how you will be executing your switch statement for performing the uh, calculator. Next, we will be discussing about the ternary operators. The ternary operators can also be specified as any conditional operators. Uh, so instead of uh, if-else statements, I can also use this particular ternary operators. The conditional operators are nothing but similar to the if-else statements. It follows the same algorithm or the procedure that we are using here in the if-else uh, statements. So we will be specifying that one as it follows the same algorithm uh, of if-else statement but its conditional operators keeps less space and helps us to write if else statement in the shortest way possible. So that's what we'll be specifying this particular uh, statements as an a conditional statements or ternary operators. So here in this ternary operators, we'll be making use of three different kind of operators. Those are nothing but question mark, colon and semicolon. Okay, so before question mark, I'll be making use of expression one, after question mark, I'll be using expression 2. After colon, I'll be using expression 3. So, the expression 1 is used for checking the condition. It checks the condition. If the condition is satisfied, then it evaluates expression 2. If the condition is not satisfied, then it evaluates expression 3. So, this is the basic syntax that you will be following for writing any uh, program by making use of ternary operators. That is nothing but variable equal to uh, three different kind of um, Syntaxes I can use that is nothing but variable equal to expression 1, question mark, expression 2 and expression 3. Okay, question mark and colon will be specified as an a ternary operators. Okay, then I can also uh, write that one as this expression uh, 1 is used for what? Checking the condition. So, instead of expression 1, I can simply write that one as variable equal to condition, question mark, then expression 2, colon expression 3 semicolon like that I can use or I can also rewrite that particular syntax as simply for this particular uh, condition expression 2 and expression 3 I can rewrite that one and I can write that one as condition in the brackets then question mark then I can directly assign the value to the variable which I have declared in my program. So that's what I'll be writing directly instead of expression 2, I'll be writing that one as variable equal to expression 2 colon, then variable equal to expression 3. So whatever the result we are having here, that particular result will be stored. So any three different syntaxes I can use for writing the ternary operators program or conditional operators program. That is nothing but what? Expression 1, question mark, expression 2, colon, expression 3, 
semicolon. Okay, the expression one is used for checking the condition. If the condition is satisfied, then it evaluates expression two. If the condition is not satisfied, then it evaluates the expression three. Okay, this is the scenario we will be following for ternary operators. So, this is the basic syntax. Okay, variable is used for storing the value. So, that's what we will be specifying that one as resultant value. So, first in order to store that value, first it will be checking this particular expression. If first expression is true, then what happens? It directly comes to the expression 2 and it evaluates that one and stores that result in variable 1. If not, it skips this one and it directly goes to the expression 2 and that value will be returned back to the variable here. Okay, this is the scenario we will be following. So, this is the basic flowchart that you will be following for ternary operators. That is, first I will check the condition. If it is true, then it comes to the expression true. And next to whatever the statements we will be having, that statements will be executed. Before that, it uh, assign that particular resultant value to the variable. If it is not satisfied, then it comes to the expression 3 and that value will be returned to the variable. Okay, So, this is the basic flowchart we will be following. So, this is the basic example program that we are going to use here for finding that whether that particular person is eligible for voting or not. So, in order to do that one, we have to declare one particular variable known as age and I have to read that particular uh, age by making use of uh, this particular variable. Okay, so I am printing that statement as enter your age, reading that one by making use of scanf. So, scanf, I have used that age as into type. So, I am using the format specifier here, percentile d and reading the age. Okay, what is the condition for con uh, ternary operators? Expression 1, question mark, expression 2, colon, expression 3, semicolon. So, expression 1 is used for what? Condition. So, 2 will be using true value. 3 will be using false value. Okay. So, first I am checking the condition. What is that condition? Age is greater than or equal to 18. If age is greater than or equal to 18, then only I will be printing that person is eligible for voting. Okay. So, if I have given that 20, 40 or 50, the age, then it will be executing this particular statement. If not, less than 18 I have given, 15, 10, 20, uh, 15, 10, 2, 5 like that. Then it skips this one and the control directly moves to the uh, expression 3 and it will be printing that uh, person is not eligible for voting or printf not eligible for voting. Okay, then it comes to the return 0 and it will be executing this particular program. Okay, so this is the basic uh, simple ternary programs that we are using here to check whether that particular person is eligible for voting or not. So, similarly, I can use, uh, I can write a program for finding the largest of two numbers. So, instead of this particular statement, okay, uh, instead of this particular variables, I'll be declaring two different variables as int a comma b okay and i'll read that particular variables okay so instead of uh, enter your age i'll be writing that enter the value of a comma b okay that means i'll be writing that statement as printf enter the value of a comma b then i'll be reading that one by making use of scanf and i'll be using two format specifiers percentile d percentile d ampersand a comma ampersand b then i'll be writing the ternary operators what i'll be using if a is greater than b then i'll be printing that statement as printf a is largest okay then i'll be using here colon then printf b is largest semicolon then i'll be writing here return 0 close this is the basic logic i'll be using here for printing that uh, printing that which number is the largest number or I can also uh, specify that one as finding the largest of two numbers. Okay, so this is the scenario how you need to write and execute the program for ternary operators. So in this session, we have discussed two things that is nothing but switch statements and ternary operators. Thank you.
Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.